Sometimes it's nice to have customers add items to a shopping cart without leaving the current page they're browsing. This video will show you how to do this in Freedom CMS. First, when implementing this Add to Cart feature via Ajax, we need to make sure that the product lister page is secure, so let's make a secure display type now. I can do this by going to my Layouts module, Display Types tab, and copying the display type that is currently being used as default. Then I'll name this new display type default underscore secure. Before saving this layout, I'll check the boxes to make this display type secure and allow Blue to select this display type. Now, I'll edit my products lister found in the Layouts module, Modules tab. I can now select the display type that I just created from the display type dropdown in order to make this product page secure when viewed on the live site. And at the bottom of the body section of this lister, I can paste in a section of JavaScript code that should be provided around this video. This piece of JavaScript may look pretty technical to you, but to summarize what it does, when you press an Add to Cart button, whatever is inside the div with an ID of Mini Cart Wrapper Result, replace it with whatever is in the div with an ID of Mini Cart Wrapper. And for our specific needs right now, it's really just refreshing the Commerce Mini Shopping Cart on the page without refreshing the whole page. Again, this may sound confusing, just follow along and it will all make sense in the next few minutes. Now, before we save our lister, we have to change a variable in our JavaScript code. For the variable base URL, we need to change this to our secure website address. In this case, and most likely for you, it's going to be the base URL of the page that you're currently on since it's secure. If you have an SSL certificate, you would change it to be https colon slash slash www dot whatever your domain name is dot com. But if you are using the secure URL that came with your Freedom website, it will be https slash slash asofnumber.acrosoft.com slash your site name, which you will see in your browser now. Now that we have made our base URL change, I can press save. All right, now let's edit our page layout in order to embed our mini shopping cart on the page. For this example, I'm going to find our bracket bracket content include and paste our commerce shopping cart mini layout just below it. Before saving, however, I need to wrap this layout in a div with an ID of mini cart wrapper result. I have to do this in order to tell the JavaScript code that we pasted in earlier where the shopping cart is. After saving, we can now go to the blue interface and create a new web page. We have to name this web page mini underscore cart as it is stated this way in the JavaScript code we pasted in earlier. Change the display type to default secure, which we created in the beginning, and in the WYSIWYG, paste in our shopping mini cart include again. And just like the green page layout, we need to wrap this include in a div with an ID, but this time the ID is just mini cart wrapper. Switch to the HTML tab of the WYSIWYG to do this. Press save and now I'll have to go back to the green interface layouts module, modules tab, and edit my mini shopping cart layout. I have to make sure that the checkbox blue can embed this layout is checked so that it will work in the web page we just created. Pressing save I can then refresh my live site products lister and I will see an empty mini shopping cart below my products. And when I press any Add to Cart button on this page, it will automatically add my items to the cart and refresh the mini cart area at the bottom. One last thing I want to do is add a Checkout Now link to my mini cart, so I'll edit my Commerce underscore Shopping Cart underscore Mini layout again and put in a link to Checkout Now. Now my visitors can proceed through the checkout process whenever they're ready.